Hey y'all, it's Jay, and it's time to talk about your flare. On 15 pieces of flare, I'm going to show you guys some ways to spruce up that game room. On all the various different Facebook groups that I'm part of, I'm always seeing board game developers posting pictures of their games they're making, components they've got going on, artwork in the game, etc, etc. And every once in a while, one of them will really just capture my attention. And in this case, for what I made today, it's Dead Throne. The developer was posting pictures of different cards they had created. One was a dragon, one was a bandit, a goblin warlord, and some other ones. But everything just looked really cool to me and everything just really stood out. And it looked like a pretty well thought out game and card layout and all that stuff. So anyways, I got a hold of him. He got me a print of one of the cards and a map, but I'll be doing that next set, next episode. But for this episode, I got a hold of the Goblin Warlord card and I made a custom frame for it. So let's check out how I made this sweet frame. So for this project, we're gonna need a frame, paper, masking tape, silver spray paint, black spray paint, several fire tones ranging from yellow to red and including white a plastic bag, and an awesome piece of art. So go ahead and remove the glass, paper, and cardboard from the frame, then using the tape and paper, mask the back of the frame. Then in a well-ventilated area, spray the outer section of the frame silver. Once that's totally dry, mask off the outer section of the frame, being sure to completely cover the sides. Then you're going to paint the inner section black and let that dry completely. For the next step, make sure to have your bag near and handy before you start. Once the black is totally dry, you can take your fire tones and apply quick and thick coats, starting with white, then the yellow tones, then the orange tones, and then the red tones. Do each coat in quick succession and do not allow any of them to dry at all. Then quickly grab your plastic bag and press the bag into the wet paint. Dab the bag all over the frame to create the fire effect. Once you have your desired look, you can go ahead and remove the masking now or wait until it's totally dry. Once totally dry and the masking is removed, you can reassemble your frame. Boom! There you have it. A quick and easy way to add some flair to your game room. Now this Dead Throne World of Velus is scheduled to hit Kickstarter within the next couple weeks. It's an open world RPG style game and they've put so much thought into it. Just the world alone has over 2400 years of history. I think that's pretty cool that they put that much work into just the world alone. Now. This is only the first game in a series of many that they're creating for this world of Velus. So I'm excited to see everything that they, that they end up coming out with. Now for the frame, I really like the way the silver and on the outside and the fire on the inside turned out. It's a pretty unique effect. I wish I would have done a better job masking up these corners, but I can fix that later. Hey, if any of you guys have any suggestions on games or ideas you'd like me to make into some flair, comments below. I read them every single time. Or you can go to my Facebook page, Peak Your Interest. Or Twitter or Instagram work too, at Half Handicapped. But, don't forget, 15 pieces of flair is the bare minimum. Some people choose to do more, and we encourage that. Have fun, everybody.